Are you considering moving to Luanda, Angola? Then this video is for you. Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. I'm really excited this week because I get to talk to you about Luanda, Angola, which is one of my favorite places in the world. I used to call it home for three and a half years. And today I'm gonna to be sharing with you a few vacation destinations that you can go for the weekend from Luanda, Angola. So I definitely want to emphasize that this is going to be weekend destination. So really just two, three, max four days, so long weekend. I wanna do a separate video about week-long travel or just awesome travel destinations that you can take from Luanda if you're living there. And be sure to stick around for my last one because it's a little bit further, but I still think it could be a good weekend destination if you're willing to travel for about five hours within a few days. So if you're willing to do that, then stick around for the last one because it's such a good destination. All right, friends, before we get into the video, be sure to hit that like button because I know you're gonna learn something new and also that red subscribe button. That way you'll be notified when I release more videos about living in Angola. And for my first vacation destination for the weekend from Luanda, I'm going to keep it really close and I'm going to talk about Windhoek, Namibia. And it's probably a two or less hour flight. It's probably the closest major city, I would say, to Angola that is an awesome vacation destination. There's so much to do in Windhoek. It's actually kind of a small city, but there's so much to do. It packs a big punch. <laughs> They have lots of shopping. There's a huge shopping center downtown. Um, there is a really nice Hilton hotel that we've stayed at that is not very expensive, but it's still very nice. They have an amazing breakfast buffet. There is also an entertainment area downtown where sometimes they have um, different performances. We actually went there for New Year's weekend and on New Year's Eve, they had a huge um, band and musical groups playing and it was like a big festival. It was a lot of fun. There's also so many things you can do outside of the city. So still close enough to drive, like a 45 minute hour long drive um, that you can do outside the city for the day. They have Nankusi Wildlife Sanctuary, which we did that and it was amazing. That was actually the first time that we got up and close to big cats. So we saw lions, cheetahs, leopards. We saw so many awesome things there. I can't even remember them all. So I'm gonna say Windhoek is my first destination from Angola. Again, it's about a two hour flight and there's so much to do there. You will absolutely love it. All right, my next destination from Luanda for the weekend is gonna be Johannesburg, South Africa. And when I lived there, there were multiple I think there was a flight every single day to Johannesburg, so there is no reason for you not to be able to get there. Honestly, just overnight even, I took a few trips to Johannesburg while we lived there, but I really loved spending time in Joburg because they had really good shopping, they had really good food, <laughs> they had really good accommodations. So if you just need a place to kind of get out of Luanda for a few days, kind of take a breath and get some yummy food, it's a great place for just some R&R &R for a few days and then you can fly right back. The third destination I'm gonna talk about from Luanda is going to be Cape Town. Now I'm definitely gonna to have to do a separate video about Cape Town. I actually wrote a blog post about it. I'll go ahead and link that down in the description box for you, but I'm for sure gonna do a video because Cape Town, is amazing. It's the most gorgeous place you can think of. I cannot recommend Cape Town enough. The expats that I knew that lived in Angola went to Cape Town multiple times. It's one of those places that you can easily get down to for two days, three days for a weekend, but that's not enough. <laughs> You're gonna wanna go back again and again and again. Even if you go and spend a whole week in Cape Town, there's still more to do. There's so many things to do. I can't even, they have the wine region, there's shark diving. There's delicious food, gorgeous accommodations all over the city. The city has different kind of areas that you can explore and tour around. There's really great shopping. I personally really enjoyed being at the watershed downtown where they had actual local South African artists showing their artwork and we actually bought a few pieces there. It was really great. I highly recommend taking a flight down to Cape Town. It's going to be about, I think a three hour flight, three or two hours, 45 minutes from Luanda. So it's not far at all. 
And they know people like to go on the weekend, so there's always a Friday and a Sunday and maybe even a Monday flight as well. So you're gonna have to check out Cape Town if you're living in Angola. Before I talk about my last weekend destination from Luanda, I wanna quickly tell you that I created an activity list if you are living or visiting Luanda, Angola, there's over 40 activities that you have to do when you're there. And they're very unique, super tailored after living there for almost four years. So definitely go below in the description box and you can download yours today. So my last destination I wanna tell you guys about, it is a little bit further, I'm not gonna lie. It's a little bit further, it's on a different continent. It's not on the African continent. And that location is going to be Dubai. Now, I know you're thinking, no, that's way too far. You can't get there. It is a little bit further. It's about a five and a half hour flight from Luanda. So it is further, but I felt like the flight went really fast. When I lived in Luanda to get home to Houston, it was a 14 hour flight. And then to get to Europe, it was about an eight to 10 hour flight, depending on you know where you were going in Europe. So the flights were very long. Generally, I was getting a lot more used to long flights. So to me, a five hour flight, for two or three days in Dubai was worth it. Truthfully, the first time we went to Dubai, we stayed for an entire week. And then we went back for, I believe it was either a two or three day trip. I can't remember exactly. So I have done a long week in Dubai and then also a few short days. And Dubai is amazing as well. <laughs> I think you guys probably can tell that from the photos that you've probably seen in Dubai. If you haven't been, if you've been, then you know yourself how cool of a place it is. And it's a really good kind of just R&R place again when you're living in Luanda. If you want to go over there, you have any kind of shop you can think of. The shopping's incredible. The food's incredible. The hotels are amazing. There's so much just R&R and just fun that you can have in Dubai. So it's a great place to kind of go and blow off some steam. If you are finding living in Luanda a little bit more challenging at the moment, Dubai is a great place to just go and quite frankly, live it up for a few days and then head back to Luanda. If you are up for that five hour, five to six hour flight from Luanda to Dubai. All right, friends, I hope this gave you a few ideas of just weekend travel that you can do from Luanda. I think these were all really good places. They're all very different too in their own ways, but so much fun. I went to all four locations and I would highly recommend all of them. And be sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel because I am going to do another video about week-long travel from Luanda. So all the places that I would recommend going from Luanda if you're looking for a week-long vacation. I will see you next week with another video. Bye, friends.